Hey everybody, Brandon Ford here again, and today I wanna to take you through a very useful function inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC called Export Frame. What Export Frame allows you to do is actually export out a single frame from your video clip. Essentially, it makes a photograph of that frame inside of your movie file. And this is useful for a lot of different things. You can send that picture then to clients to give them an example of the overall color effects that you're adding or the treatment, the look of your movie, if you will. It's also useful if, let's say, your video clip that you recorded isn't actually long enough, and depending on the type of clip that it is, you can actually export out a frame and use that in place of the video clip and stretch it out to, to meet the time requirements that you have. So this is a very useful functionality that editors use all the time, and I wanna show you exactly where it's located and how to actually use it. It's very easy to use, and it's gonna help you out with your next editing project. So first and foremost, if you come up here to your program window, you're gonna see a bunch of different buttons down here at the bottom below your scrub head. There's going to be a button here that's called export frame. Now it may not be in this exact location and it may not actually even be listed with these buttons currently. And if it's not, don't worry. You can actually find it pretty easy. If you move on over here to this plus sign, this it's called the button editor. If you click on that, you're gonna see all the different buttons that are available. And you're looking for one that basically looks like a camera. Click on it and you can drag it down with the rest of those buttons. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit okay. And now you are ready to be able to use the export frame option. So all you have to do is you have to find a single uh, frame in your video that you like. So I've already uh, gone through and I've selected uh, this shot here of the bride and groom's rings. And all I need to do is actually click on that button. This new window comes up. You're allowed to name it whatever you want. So we'll just call this uh, rings shot. And you can change the format from a DPX to a JPEG to a PNG to a target to a TIFF, whichever uh, you want to work with. In this case, I'm going to leave it as a as a JPEG just for um, you know ease of this lesson. And you can also change the path of where that file is going to be saved to. One other really useful option is if you're going to use this actually inside of the project to stretch out and make you know a picture with it, you can actually just click here and import it directly into the project. So you don't have to save it out, then go find it and bring it back in. You can let the program automatically do that for you. So if I go ahead and hit okay, you're gonna see that now over here in my uh, project bin, there is now a JPEG file called ring shots. And and there it is, it's defaulted to like six seconds, but again, because this is now a picture, I can go ahead and stretch this out as long as I need it to be. So there you have it. That's how you use the export frame function inside of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I hope you find this useful. Make sure to check out all my other tutorials right here on YouTube. My name is Brandon Ford, and we'll see you next time.